The story of this first debate between President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump may not be so much about what was said than about how it was said. Analysts said Biden came into this debate needing to prove he could serve another four years. But instead of appearing energetic, Biden often gave rambling answers and sometimes struggled to rebut Trump's falsehoods and attacks. Locked in a dead heat, Joe Biden and Donald Trump made no secret in their belief the other is wrong to lead the country. Trump repeatedly blamed Biden for inflation and what Trump called open borders, and Biden accused Trump of peddling lies. He didn't do much at all. By the time he left, or things were in chaos. What happened to the United States' reputation under this man's leadership is horrible. The two presidents getting personal over Trump's unprecedented felony convictions and Biden's son Hunter's own legal troubles. The only person on this stage is a convicted felon is the man I'm looking at right now. When he talks about a convicted felon, his son is a convicted felon. Trump again refused to condemn the violence on January 6, 2021, when his supporters stormed the Capitol to try and overturn the election. Biden said it's part of the reason so many former Trump officials are not supporting the former president this cycle. This guy has no sense of American democracy. Trump went after Biden's ability to stay in the job as the two men fight off concerns about their old age. Biden, who is 81, at times gave rambling or halting answers and struggled to make a point. If we finally beat Medicare. Trump accused him of not being with it. I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. On abortion, Trump celebrated Roe versus Wade being overturned while Biden condemned it. I put three great Supreme Court justices on the court and they happened to vote in favor of killing Roe v. Wade and moving it back to the states. This is something that everybody wanted. The idea that states are able to do this is a little like saying we're going to turn civil rights back to the states. Let each state have a different rule. The two men disagreed over how to end the wars in Israel and Ukraine, how to improve America's economy, and who has the stronger record caring for veterans. They did not shake hands when they walked on stage, and across the debate, it was clear how deeply they dislike each other. Biden's performance immediately stoked concern by prominent members of the Democratic Party thinking about the future of his candidacy. One former Democratic member of Congress told me it was, quote, painful and sad for those of us who love Joe Biden. Where was his family and close friends and advisors who knew he couldn't perform? This Democrat told me they felt Biden should no longer be the party's nominee. It's something worth watching in the days ahead. Reporting in Atlanta, Taylor Popolars, Spectrum News. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Let Spectrum News be your resource for balanced, in depth political coverage and click the subscribe button right here. You can also download our app or watch us on TV to learn more about the candidates, where they stand on the issues, and more. We'll see you then.